Okay, you're going to take your piece of clay and you're going to wedge it together onto the fabric. You're going to push in and down, with the palms of your hand, the clappy part, in and down. Then you're going to turn your clay. The reason you're turning it is so that you can push it from different directions, pressing the air bubbles out of the clay. And you keep doing that about 15 to 20 times. Stay on your fabric and then you're going to press it down. Now between you and the person that's sitting next to you at your table, you're working as a partner, you're a team. All right. You're going to take the rolling pin, make sure it stays on your sticks so that you get it an even thickness that the stick is. Because if you go off, it's going to be tilted and one edge is going to be thinner. So use the palms of your hands again, push really hard, rock it back and forth, pressing the clay out. And you are stronger than the clay. It may be a little bit tough to do, but keep pressing hard. Go back and forth. And then when you think you're done, take the rolling pin and put all your pressure on it. And if it gives it a little divot here, like this one, you're not done yet. Keep rolling. So press really hard. Get it the thinness of the sticks. Then you're done with the rolling pin. You're going to take the ATC pattern, lay it on here because you've got, there's two of you. You can either use the fettling knife or you can use the potter's needle to cut it. It doesn't really matter. I'll do one of each. You take it and go around the outside of the pattern. It turned, no, it's still on, okay. Around the outside edges, peel up the ATC pattern, keep the chunks, put it to the side, because your fabric, if you leave it on your fabric, the fabric's gonna absorb the moisture out of it. So take that, lay that aside, cut a second one. Now I'll use the fettling knife, which is a potter's knife. You can cut right through. You should kind of feel it touching the fabric. Peel it up. Okay, so now there's two ATCs that you've got. This is the base that you're going to be building up with to make sure that you have something to build on. That's your ATC card. Now don't throw these pieces away because you're going to share the pieces. Try to make it as equal as you can between the two of you and then you're going to actually make things with the clay that you have left over. Now remember, hopefully this is review, any two pieces that you put together you have to use the process of cross hatching. So say I want to put this on the clay, I can't just set it on there because it's not going to stick, it's going to come off. So get your fork, container of water, only have it filled halfway and if you want a flat bottom on it just thump it on your table and create X's with the fork, but the water is going to act like glue. So create the X's, then take these X's here, put that on top, and then just gently push. And then you can take your clay tools and kind of smooth it out to make sure that it's going to stick. And you can use your tools for all kinds of things. So if I wanted to turn this into a little creature, I could continue to add things to it. Again, every two pieces that you put together, you have to cross hatch or it's going to come off. All right, so now I'm going to have a one eyed monster here. I'm going to take this tool. This is really fun. You kind of push it in and twist it. Now I have an eye. You can add little arms and attachments coming off, but again, anything that you put on here, you have to cross hatch. Now remember, you should have an ATC card that you made so that you knew what it was that you're going to build. You're going to put it on there, then you're going to make sure that you've got every the edges smooth. If you look at this one, you can see all the cracks and things in this. Get your finger wet, take and rub it and smooth it out. Then before you put it in your baggie today at the end of class, you need to make sure that you take the tool and put your name and class code on the bottom so that we know what hour this is that you had it. And then you're going to take your baggie. Everybody will have a baggie. You'll open it up. Carefully place your clay inside. You're going to get a paper towel. You're going to get it wet. It shouldn't be dripping. Wring it out. You can leave it wadded up. It's just to add more moisture. Keep it moist in there. Then you're going to take your scrap pieces, put it in. Then you're going to try to take out the air without smashing your clay. Take a twisty tie. Tie it up. Put it in your tote tray and you have it ready for tomorrow.